The equation here might not look like a traditional quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero because, as you see, we don't have an x term. We're essentially missing our b. But we could still consider it a quadratic equation, just in which case the b is equal to zero. So I can still use my same strategy of attempting to factor it, and then if I can, use the zero products property. Because the equation is a bi binomial, we can try to factor it as a difference of squares. The rule that states that if it's written in the form a squared minus b squared, I can write it as a plus b, a minus b. So we will note that our equation can actually be rewritten as 4x quantity squared minus 7 squared equals 0, where essentially my a is going to be the 4x and my b is going to be the 7. So um, because it falls into that pattern, I can rewrite it as 4x plus 7 times 4x minus 7 equals 0. Now um, that it's factored, I can apply my zero products property, which tells me that either this must equal 0 or this binomial is going to equal 0. So I'm going to solve these binomials individually. So what makes 4x plus 7 equal 0? Well, if I subtract 7 on both sides, I get 4x equals negative 7. And x is going to be negative 7 over 4. And similarly, if I solve this one, I'm going to add 7 on both sides, and I get 4x equals a positive 7, or x is equal to 7 fourths. In summary, my two possible solutions are x equals plus or minus 7 fourths, or I could also rewrite that as 1 and 3 fourths. Those are my two solutions to the equation.